One of my family's favorite things to eat is... Fried rice. Fried rice. And for a long, long time, we weren't able to get it quite right. We're hoping to change that tonight. Yeah. Just try like this. You know, like flip it around like this. No. No? No. All right, but then the next thing they do, I think they draw a smiley face, right? No. Don't and, you do it. And light it on fire? No. Come on, sit right here. Here, I'll move you back a little bit. Let's Everybody, do not try this at A circle, and an eye, and an eye, and a smiley face. Oh, that sounds like this. Woo! Okay, now we'll do that. We'll never do that. Stand back. Didn't work. We tried. All right. Hey, you're lucky to be at home. If so that they, happened, it would probably explode. Let's put some of this over here. Well, let's add a little bit more oil over here. All right. This is getting started. Now do we do this? Oh, no. How do they do it? No, they don't do that, but I'd prefer you to do it. I'm gonna do it, girl. Oh. They spin it like this, and then they go. Whoa! They cracked it. Ah. Oh. Do you wanna crack one? Oh, really? Just spin it like that? It says don't lift it up into the arrow. I'm not good at this. Ready? Oh, that didn't work. Here. Fine you use this one to chop them up. We don't want them in the... Like what? Yep. Uh, that one went in there. Mm. Let's go get another. I'm gonna go get another one. You keep chopping them. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's going in there again. There we go. They're frozen right now. Now we need to add some green onion. How much? I don't know. I feel like we'll know it when we see it. So what on it? What on? It's right here. Well, I mean, but get your hand down closer when you do it. Okay, what else? Any more? How much more do we need? Yeah, more. Put it right there. Any more? Let me see. Let's do about half, maybe a little bit more, like half of half a handful. How much? Yeah. All right. So we found out the key to the fried rice is in the seasoning. We could never get the seasoning quite right. And if the flavor is not right, the fried rice isn't right. And so we tried and tried and tried until just recently we found this Kikuman fried rice seasoning. Maybe it's cheating, but cheating has never tasted so good. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, this is the only good cheating. If you cheat in war game that's against the rules, never do that. Yeah, never do that. That's like Satan. That's like Satan. You ready to help me stir it up? Can yeah. Really yeah, go ahead and stir those a little bit. They stay over there. It's um, we're not at, we're not adding the fried rice to the vegetables, but those are still frozen. No, it'll be very cold and frozen.
So it's all about having the right seasoning, the right ingredients. Speaking of seasoning, Jesus talked about seasoning in his very first public teaching, public sermon. We call it the Sermon on the Mount. You can find it in Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. And Maisie, do you know? Do you know that verse about yeah. salt? Do you want to say it? You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It then forth go for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. And be trodden under the foot of men. Now that's it. That's, that's really, really good. Jesus is talking about salt, and salt plays a very important role in first century Jerusalem because salt was for two things. Oh. Cake and cookies. No. Salt was for flavor, but also for preservation. They would add it to things like meat, and it would keep the meat from going bad. Here's the other important ingredient. Ah, uh, butter. Butter. Just push. That's good. Now put it up on there. All right. So if you have a grill, just do this. So if you want to do make it, well, I guess you just have to get a grill and the video of your instructions. That's how you make fried rice. That's how you make fried rice. So Jesus is saying to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. You are the flavoring. <laughs> you are the preservation. Here, can you use this and stir the stir the what? vegetables some more? Use what? Okay. It's like Jesus is... Jesus' kingdom that he's building is a meal. Here, a meal. Like a good fried rice meal. Oh, a that's good not fried rice meal. meal. That's not my kind of meal, but that's what we're making for dinner tonight. And Jesus is saying, when you take a bite, it should taste right. <laughs> no, he's not. That's what he's saying. Literally? Yep. Because that's what we're saying right now. And if it doesn't taste right... You've got to remake it. He says, throw it out. Doesn't he? He says, what's it good for but to be... Thrown out and be trodden under the foot. Trodden under the foot. All right, let's add the seasoning. Wait, that's the seasoning? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. That's what we usually Which really makes me think, as Christians, we should taste like Jesus. What do you think that means? Uh, be like Jesus. Be, be just like Jesus. Every day, everywhere. Every day, everywhere. In our conversations with people, with our co-workers, with our schoolmates, <laughs> with our brothers and our sisters, we should taste just like Jesus. Can I have a, have a taste? Can I have a taste of it? Can you I taste want... it? What's it taste like? That's amazing. You have to try it. Mmm, that is really it's good. Like fish. Oh, really? It's something like that. Now, you guys can make any seasoning as long as you think it don't taste right. And if it doesn't, just blow it out and make another one. How about, is it warm yet? Probably. You want it to cool, though, don't, don't you? Uh, it's just warm off.
I think this is about ready. You want to go inside and get two pans? Or no, we just probably need one pan. All right, put it right there. Perfect. So what can we do, do you think, to taste more like Jesus? We can treat the people the way we want to be treated. Yeah, following the golden rule is a great idea. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, don't whine to your parents. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah, praise and worship is a great way to taste more like Jesus. What else? Listen to your parents. Listen, being obedient to those in authority, because God placed them in authority, whether we think they should be in charge or not. What else do you think? Uh, you think reading your Bible would help? Yeah, reading the Bible. B I B L E. I mean, how would we, how would we know what it looks like to be Jesus if we don't read about Jesus? <clears throat> what else do you think? Mm, I don't know. Read your Bible. What'd you say? Read your Bible. Pray every day. Yeah. Prayer is a good one. Pray. You can pray anywhere. Even if you pray in your head, God will still hear you. Yeah. Hey, Papa, can I have that pee pod? Yeah. You gonna help me clean? And uh, no. Let it cool for a second. It's time to clean up now. Take this into and put it in the sink, please. Be careful, it's still very hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, the egg is still in there. Yeah. When we're all done. So let's be the salt of the earth. Let's flavor Christ's kingdom. Let's taste more and more like him every day. He is the best salt of the world. He is. Read your Bible. Spend time in prayer. Listen to what God has to say to you. Get in community with other believers. Hold each other accountable. Pray together. Learn together. Yeah. Uh, play together. Yeah. Play together. Read the Bible together. Trust to us. Bible class. Go to Bible class. Yeah. And trust us, it's gonna taste great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will. We got one more thing to do. volcano I think Is amazing. You're not saying that just for the video? Uh -uh. We'll see you next time. <laughs>